I've been using the Infinix Hot 40i for a few weeks now, and while it has some of the usual features you'd see in Infinix devices, such as tons of software features, a big display, a long-lasting battery, and biometric security, there are several more features which make this device stand out. Stay tuned to find out what they are. The Hot 40i might not be exactly what you expect in certain areas. There are a lot of pleasant surprises and maybe a few hiccups here and there. Anyway, let's start off with what you get in the trademark green and blue box. Right on top, you get the device itself, which we will put aside for now. Beneath that, you get a card which you can use to redeem 1GB of mobile data from MTN. Next, you get the SIM ejector tool and then an XPARC info card. After that, you then get a clear TPU case to protect your phone with. Afterwards, you get the Infinix branded 18 watt charging brick, you also get a USB-C to USB-A cable, and you get a pair of wired earphones. The device is made of glass on the front, plastic on the flat sides, and more plastic on the back. It has a matte finish, meaning you don't have to worry about fingerprint smudges. The plastic finish means it is very shatter resistant for the people who use your phone caseless but still drop it every now and then. However, while it might be shatter resistant, it is still prone to scratching. On the right side, you have the power button which doubles as the fingerprint scanner and you also have the volume rocker. And on the left side, you have the SIM card slot which can take two nano SIM cards and one micro SD card. At the bottom, you've got the mic and a single speaker grill with a USB-C port between the both of them and also the 3.5mm port. On the back, you can see this beautiful gradient finish on the model I have here. The Hot 40i weighs about 190 grams, meaning it feels a bit hefty in the hand, but it's definitely not uncomfortable in my opinion. And the display is about 6.6 .6 inches, meaning it's going to be a little difficult to use with one hand for those who have smaller hands. And still on the topic of the display, Simply put, it is big, responsive, and overall, quite impressive. It's got a 1612x720p resolution, meaning it's not really the sharpest display out there. It also doesn't get very bright as it has a peak brightness of 480 nits, so you may struggle to see it under direct sunlight. It is also an IPS LCD panel, but I can confidently say it is one of the better looking displays you can find on a smartphone at this price point. It also has a refresh rate of 90Hz which makes scrolling feel very smooth and responsive. And for this price point, you'd be a bit hard pressed to find many devices with a 90 Hertz display. This is yet another thing that makes the Hot 40i stand out. At the top of the screen, we can see a typical hole punch camera notch and moderately thin bezels on the sides with a thicker bezel at the bottom. When unlocking the phone via face unlock, the hole punch transforms into a black bar which shows the face unlock icon and an animation. This bar is called the magic ring and it can also show background calls, a low battery reminder, a charging animation and more. On the rear of the device, we've got the camera bump on the top left corner and it contains the two sensors included in it. You get a 50 megapixel f1.6 wide angle main shooter and a 0.08 megapixel auxiliary lens. And honestly, I was quite surprised by the quality of photos these cameras produced. That's not to say they're best in class cameras, they tend to struggle with dynamic range in portrait mode, but all in all, they can definitely do a great job in the right lighting conditions. However, by the Fault, you're going to get 12.5 megapixel pictures when you open the camera app and shoot. If you want to get the 50 megapixel pictures, you're going to need to tap on the 50 megapixel button at the top of the camera app in order to switch to the 50 megapixel or ultra HD mode. Here's the kind of quality you can expect to get from the rear cameras on the Infinix Hot 40i. The 32 megapixel selfie camera on the front isn't much different as you can get similar results to the rear cameras when you take selfies using this camera right here. One thing to keep in mind however is the fact that just like with the main cameras, the selfie camera doesn't take 32 megapixel pictures by default. When you open up the camera app, the selfie camera is set to take 8 megapixel photos. So you're going to need to tap on the 32 megapixel button at the top of the camera app to switch to the 32 megapixel or ultra HD mode. You also miss out on features like HDR while in portrait mode, so a lot of your portrait selfies might be overexposed or have the sky blown out. The Infinix Hot 40i can also record videos at up to 1080p 30 frames per second 
on both the front and rear cameras. And here's a look at what you can expect from it. So this is a test of the front facing camera on the Infinix Hot 40i. And as you can tell, the quality is quite good. It records at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The detail level is also really, really good. However, it does struggle with dynamic range a little in video mode, as you can see, but that shouldn't really be an issue or a big problem. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the fact that the front facing camera doesn't really have electronic or optical image stabilization. So if you move around a little, the footage will shake. However, that isn't really something you should expect from a smartphone of this price range. So it's actually really good value for the amount of money that you pay for it. And the quality is really, really good as you can see. And this is the video quality you can expect to get from the rear facing cameras of the Infinix Hot 40i. As you can tell, the quality is actually quite good. It records in up to 1080p at 30 frames per second, just like the front facing camera. And I think it does a little better with dynamic range than with the selfie camera. But I'll leave that to you to decide. So let me know what you think in the comment section below about the camera quality. And as for image stabilization, I don't believe it has optical or um, electronic image stabilization. So let me move around a little bit and see. Yeah, I think the quality, or I think the uh, video might still move around a little bit. But anyway, like I said previously, it is a budget friendly device you don't really expect to get every single camera um, feature here but for what it does have it is quite good it is quite reliable and you will be able to take satisfactory videos um, with this camera by the way if you're still watching the video at this point then you are infinitely awesome so make sure to leave a comment with the infinity emoji in the comment section below to show me that you got this far into the video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. When it comes to performance, then day-to-day -day activities should be fine. And you might even be able to enjoy some gaming. I was able to play PUBG on HD graphics with the high frame rate option turned on, and it was pretty smooth for the most part. Definitely better than I expected. However, if you're planning on playing graphically intensive games for prolonged periods of time, then you might need to drop the graphics settings in order to get the best frame rates. The Hot 40i comes with the Uni SoC T606 CPU, which is a 12 nanometer processor. This, in addition to the 90Hz refresh rate display, ensures that the device doesn't suffer from stutters and lags during normal activities and light gaming. The Mali G57 MP1 GPU helps out with the game performance a bit, but of course, it's important to remember that this is practically an entry-level device and can only do so much. One thing I really do like about the gaming experience on this device is the game assistance panel, which you can summon by swiping and holding on any side of the screen. It gives you access to features like the magic button, which lets you map the volume buttons to controls in the game. You also have access to screen recording, hide notifications, call reject, memory cleanup, and more. Now, delving into the content consumption experience, Watching videos and playing games on the Hot 40i is pretty good, especially considering the price of this device. While it only has a 720p display, videos on YouTube aren't capped at 720p, meaning you can play 1080p or even 4K videos if you so wish. Another thing to consider when it comes to content consumption is the sound. And while the mono speaker on the Hot 40i is decent, I do wish it was a little bit louder. And since it's only a single downward firing speaker, you'll have to make sure you don't accidentally cover it up with your hand. My version of this device comes with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage, but you can increase it to 8GB of RAM thanks to the memory fusion feature, in case you like to leave some apps open in the background and you don't want them to refresh. The Hot 40i is running Android 13 and is skinned with Infinix's XOS which is a relatively clean and visually friendly Android skin. You get access to special functions like the smart panel, which lets you access your apps by swiping and holding on the side of the screen, social turbo, video assistant, xclone, and more. One thing I really love about the Infinix Hot 40i is its seamless integration with the very best and most essential Google apps and features. You don't have to worry if you misplace your device as you can easily track it via the Google Find My Device app. Just make sure you install the app as soon as you get your device. Apps like Gmail, Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google Drive come pre-installed on your device and you can easily back up your photos to the cloud thanks to Google Photos. And one thing to note about this device is the fact that the typing experience is quite nice. 
It has a standard haptic motor you would expect from an entry level device, meaning the vibrations feel a little squishy and not the most pleasant. But once you turn the vibrations off, you would really enjoy typing out your messages and notes on this device most likely because of how large the screen is. When it comes to the biometric side of things, the fingerprint scanner is very responsive. You barely have to touch it before the device unlocks and you have access to your smartphone. And if your fingers are greasy or dirty, you can easily get into your phone thanks to the 2D face unlock feature on the Hot 40i. It's incredibly fast, reliable, and it seamlessly grants you access to your device. Another thing that's pretty cool about this device is the 5000 mAh battery which is quite big. It supports up to 18 watts of charging, meaning it takes a bit over two hours to go from 0% to about 100%. You should be able to get a day's worth of use comfortably with this device on a light to medium workload. However, if you plan on engaging in long gaming sessions, then you can expect the battery life to decrease accordingly. When it comes to pricing, the base model which I have here with a configuration of 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage comes in at about 118,000 Naira. So, would I recommend buying the Infinix Hot 40i? Well, as usual, with phones around this price point, it really depends on who is asking. It's got good battery life, a decent build quality, and the cameras are good enough to compete with devices that are even slightly above this price point. However, if you plan on creating content or taking lots of photos and videos, then you might want to really consider it before pulling the trigger on this purchase. The Infinix Hot 40i might be suitable for someone who is on a really tight budget but still wants an enjoyable experience. Maybe someone who does some casual gaming here and there, doesn't take a lot of photos or videos, and overall doesn't have unrealistic expectations for an entry-level device. But of course, those are just my thoughts. So let me know in the comment section if you think the Infinix Hot 40i is the right device for you. And if you don't, then you can just check out any of my other videos in this playlist. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.